Hey everybody, welcome back to NCAA 11. Heading into season two, we uh, went to a bowl game and unfortunately lost to Georgia Tech. So I'm still a little bit sad about that, but I am excited to get into a new season, upgrade our player, see what other recruits we got on our team. Even though I had zero effect on that, it's all done from the CPU, obviously. But moving into a new season, it's a fresh start. It's a new year. I already broke a school record for passing touchdowns in a season. That's pretty crazy. I guess Vanderbilt is really that bad because we're easily going to crush our first year numbers in year two got high hopes shooting for like an eight win season we'll see if that's possible i'm genuinely curious what our team did in the offseason to get recruits did we improve at all i certainly hope so because our o-line was terrible last year boy i really forgot how long it took to advance the week in these things i've been sitting here for a solid like 10 minutes Our Road to Glory series enters its second year as players return to campus to begin practicing for the upcoming college football season. Let's take a look back at the freshman season of our student athlete. A six win season was nothing to write home about for this team. Now we bring in Kirk Herbstreet to break down the season that's on the horizon. For Vanderbilt, the preseason rankings mean nothing. They're looking to shock the world this year. Looking at our athletes specifically, look for this guy to start finding his way soon. I wouldn't be surprised if he was a household name by the end of the year. Aaron, it should be a great season. Thanks, Kirk. We'll see you again later in the year. We'll be with this young man every step of the way during his sophomore season, and we'll bring you all the highlights as he continues down the road to glory. For EA Sports, I'm Aaron Andrews. All right, let's check out our schedule this year. We got Army, Connecticut, Arkansas. We got an FCS game. Definitely going to run up the scoreboard on that one. Ole Miss, Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama, Florida, Kentucky, Wake Forest, and then Tennessee to finish off the year. So I went up to an 81 overall. I've got 84 speed, 85 acceleration. I now have 90 throw accuracy, so that's pretty sweet. Maxed out my elusiveness at 69. Nice. 3.1 GPA, so we're still okay there. I only had three games where I threw for over 300 yards in year one. Let's see if we can try and double that in my sophomore season. Whoa, we have a 92 overall running back now. I didn't realize he was such a high overall. 91 break tackle, 94 elusiveness. We're going to have to give him more carry this year number 83 tate richardson the beast from last year is now an 89 overall he was certainly my favorite guy from last year and i am shocked he only has 69 spectacular catch i mean that while that's pretty nice admittedly i don't understand how he made such big catches last year with such a low rating gonna feed him this year he's gonna be my favorite target once again a bunch of upperclassmen it looks like in most positions which is okay because we need the experience O-line looks pretty solid, actually. We only have one guy below an 80 overall, and he's a sophomore. So maybe we'll actually be able to block people this year. I'm ecstatic. 91 overall middle linebacker. Kicker is now an 87. What's his kick power, though? What are we working with this year, boys? 90 kick power. Solid. So heading into the year, we are projected to finish fifth in the East. Hopefully we can improve from last year at least. Heisman watch this season, we are still nowhere to be seen. Shockingly though, there's a wide receiver at the top of the list. Quentin Rose, or Rouse. Rosie? Who knows how to pronounce that? I don't know. It's a generic made up name. I wonder who was number 86 back in the day. It couldn't have been Crabtree, could it? Who else was a receiver at Texas Tech back in the day? I don't know. Somebody in the comments has got to know better than me. I'm too lazy to go look it up. There we go. Plus five strength, speed, acceleration, and jumping. Still haven't lost any yet in our GPA this episode. We are going into this football game with 91 speed and 95 acceleration. If these dang defensive ends still catch up to me, my blood's going to be boiling in this one. <laughs> Not very excited for the new season, is he? That's a great way to start the game. He would just go to the holes. Maybe you'd have more yards on the year. Coach wants the halfback sweep again. We'll give it to him. Look at that blocking. You can already tell that's improved. Oh, and he wants to four verts. Don't mind if I do. He's back to his old ways. Launch it deep. Almost picked off. Hey, he was wide open. Oh, no, that's overthrown. Nearly picked off. Terrible start for me so far. A's open. What a throw. That'll move the chains, baby. You better believe against these weaker opponents, I'm going to hog the ball. Got to pad my stats, gentlemen. 
Oh, and we're getting sacked. Running back, where were you on that block? You tell the team you're going to hog the ball and they just leave you out to dry. Unbelievable. Uh, swat it down from the defender. Not as fun in this game to scramble. Gotta say, it's kind of disappointing. What do I have to actually play as a good quarterback? That's ridiculous. Our main man, Richardson. Bringing up a fourth and one. I'm going in the hurry up. Can't give up good opportunities. Because the CPU would be idiotic and punny here. Scramble for it. Hit Richardson because I can't scramble past anybody. Let's go, baby. I don't know how I'm going to get my scrambling numbers up if I can't outrun a soul. It's cutting back this way. Go. Dang it. Why is everyone faster than me? I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. I should be blazing fast. Get there. Yes. First and goal on the one. Got to capitalize on this. Probably just going to scramble in. Cut in. Oof. <laughs> Lucky finesse around it. What up, ref? Hit the spin move on him. High five with number 62. And the weird dance move. Let's just not do that next time. Let's stick with the high five and go back to the bench. Tell you, I'm going to pad the stats today. We're going to be launching it deep and we're going to be doing it early. Oh, what a drop. Are you kidding me, bro? Let's keep a balanced offense and let him run it. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Is no one going to tackle them? This is my scramble opportunity. Slide down. Because I am prone to fumbling. Ooh. He's been consistent today. I'm liking it. Oh, that was a bad cut. I should have thrown that football. Go in the hurry up. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if it's a sloppy play call. I want all the glory. X is wide open. And he still holds on to it. Beautiful. Give me some yards here, 27. <laughs> 78's giving him a big old hug from the back. He was playing Big Spoon. Nice handoff. Let's do that again. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, ooh. that was close to being picked off. Why? Oh, yeah, what a grab. That'll pick up a first down. Play action time. Y is open across the middle. Does he have the speed? Spins into the end zone. Touchdown, Commodores. He's got some strong momentum here in this first half. I'm feeling an Aaron Andrews cutscene on the way. Get there, X. Nobody's on you. He's out of bounds. That's disappointing. Oh. Go tight end. Sweet. Offense is moving the ball very efficiently. Running game's been pretty good too. He's open. Can we complete it? Yes. Perfectly run play action play. Set it up on the previous play and dude was wide open for the touchdown. 21 to 0 over the Black Knights. That was so satisfying. I thought I was going to get sacked. But now we got another touchdown. Here we go. Go running back. Don't just stand there. What are you doing? What the? That's a disgusting turn of events. Plays like that really shows how outdated this game is. Throws a dart and he makes the catch. Really seen some improvement in every area of the offense this year. <laughs> Left my receiver out to dry there. Boom. I'm going. That's got to be a holding call. Come on, man. First good scramble of the year. We're going to have to pull it back. I'm flying again. Very next play. And I'm not fumbling either. Y is open. Dude, they are holding on to everything today. On the run. What a throw. Took a nasty hit there, too. Four touchdowns on the board. Oof, that's a terrible way to start out the second half. Yeah, why am I punching the ground? It's not that deep. Circle. I mean, B, whatever, wrong console. Richardson grabbing the first. 
Oh god, get rid of that. <laughs> I love the hit sounds in this game. <laughs> oh, come on. Somebody block him. Scramble time. Up the middle. Second rushing touchdown of the game. Booyah, baby. I got five touchdowns today. We are dominating this game. X way downfield. Get there. What a throw. On the money. Holy crap. I'm coming for that Heisman this year, boys. Get that to the running back. Turn nothing into seven-yard gain. This offense is a lot of fun this year. We're going to put up big numbers. I got QB spies out for me now. Doesn't matter. I'm still getting first downs. Look at that finesse. I wonder if they'll take me out if we keep scoring at this rate. Hand it off to the running back. They're not expecting that. Not a touchdown, but love the power. But look at me being a nice guy helping up the opposing team. Oh, it's time for me. Third rushing touchdown. Untouched, baby. I'm running over to the student section. Dropping that ball at the five-yard line for no reason. Just because I'm rude. Yeah, they already took me out. Heck yeah. That's the most fun I've probably ever had in this series. We blew them out. Defense had a shutout as well. 270 yards, three passing touchdowns, three rushing touchdowns. I don't think we've ever had such a balanced offensive attack. What a game. The first game of the season is in the books, and already we have news to report from the road to glory. Our subject created quite the buzz on campus this week. It didn't take long for him to get started this year, earning player of the game honors right out of the gate. For more insight on the game, let's send it over to Kirk Herbstreet. All right, thanks, EA. For Vanderbilt, this was a huge win. They dominated the game and came away with a convincing victory. Our road to glory student-athlete was a big part of the victory. In fact, it just came across the wire that he's earned the National Player of the Week award on top of his Player of the Game honors. He had no trouble finding a receiver downfield. In team sports, when your star players have great games, you typically have an outstanding chance to win the game. With this week, that's exactly what we saw from our man. He had an outstanding week where everything seemed to come together, and that's exactly what was able to lead this team to a victory. I can't believe how much of an impact this guy has made in only the first week of the season. I think we're in for a real treat this year. Okay, Aaron, back to you. All right, Kirk, thanks. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of our Road to Glory series. This young man is sure to make waves again soon and will be there to bring you a full report. For EA Sports, I'm Aaron Andrews. You heard it here first. We got National Player of the Week. That's unbelievable. Yep, no boost from that. Just a little pat on the back, I suppose. I was a little reckless this week. My GPA is now down to a 2.3. So I got to remember that for next episode so I don't drop below a 2 so I can actually play in the game. 90 speed once again, but with this time 87 acceleration. Let's go out and whoop Yukon's butt. A little bit of bad blood here because we did lose in a very close one against them last year. So a little bit of a revenge game. I'm just going to drop this one off to the fullback. <laughs> Still shoving people off. Got that same animation twice. Our running back played well against Army, but I want to see what he can do against a real opponent. Not a first down there, but two yards, not bad. Oh, I'm picking this up on the ground. Yes, sir. And we're protecting the football. Truff this one off to the running back. He's got room, but he doesn't take advantage of it, really. If this was like NCAA 14, that probably would have been a touchdown. Tight end, nearly picked off. Pass was redirected because I got hit. Hold up. Oh, he was deer in the headlights. Uh, I'm just dropping this one off for the running back. What a move. The acceleration boost gets us the first and goal. Handing it back to him. He's been way more consistent this year than he was all of last year. Coach wants the fullback dive. Knowing me, I can't say no to it. Pound your way in, 34. Nope. He gets shoved back. Make sure we get some good blocks on this halfback toss. He gets in the end zone, jumping in the air for absolutely no reason. But who cares? We're on the board first. 
After their first possession, they don't score, so we are in control of this game. Let's see if we can get up by two touchdowns early. Look at this running room. <laughs> That's slow motion jukes. I really don't know how to shake people in this game, do I? Yo, baby. I'm starting to play a little bit smarter. I like it. Back-to-back -back first downs. I don't see anything. I'm taking off. Cutting across field. Oof. Maybe I shouldn't have cried across that much. Grab this first. Perfect. He's open. Swat it away. Thought we could sneak it past him. This play might work. That's risky, but he still got it. Went up and got the football out of the air. I love it. My coach is truly wild. Calling four verticals in the red zone. You're something else, man. Running back's got it. No way. He gets clobbered. My bad, bro. Oof. Shut off a guy. That's got to be holding. <laughs> Flipped the dude, though. That was wild. No, we got circle. I mean, B, whatever. I keep calling it the wrong console. Either way, we got a third and one. Straight to Y and he dropped it. I threw that way too early and threw it way too hard at him. Coach wants to go for it. I'm about it. Let's get it done. I only have to get one yard. Running back. No, he runs out of bounds. He, bro, that's, that's probably my fault for forcing it right there. Dang it. Defense picked off a pass. So we got the ball right back after just two plays. If our defense can play like this all year, we're going to be something serious. Ooh, we beat the safety. That slight move from Tate Richardson. That was all him. Y is open. Oh, bro. What the heck? Tate Richardson is the GOAT for real. Look at this room. I am salivating. Oh, we're still going. Let's go. I'm actually going to have good rushing numbers for once. As I punch the ref. Ooh, scrambling up the middle. Sliding down. Back to back first. Running back all day. We're moving the ball with ease. Tight end. Dang it, I keep getting deflected. Oh, he's got to be offsides. Go, go, go. Ooh, I'm doing a lot on the ground today. I'm loving it. Uh, can I sneak that into A? No, <laughs> I run out of bounds. What a bonehead move. Classic Drewski. Oh, what an idiot. I did not expect that guy to go back there. Almost a safety, though. I want to watch this play and see if my defense can get a safety or something. It's an option play. No. No. Oh, I swear if that guy would have gone the distance, somebody would have gotten fired. Skip ahead to the second half now. 100% my fault we didn't score there. We can make up for it though on this drive. Can we break a tackle today, please? We got a little flea flicker pass. Throw it back. X. Great. Flea flicker is successful. A is wide open, and I'm throwing it on the run. I'm throwing them curveballs. Oh, this is Tate Richardson all day. Waiting for him to cut across. There he is. Oh, we got clotheslined. But it's freaking Tate Richardson, the god. Tate Richardson might be one of the best receivers I've ever played with in any franchise. Oh, I'm running this in. Let's go. You can't stop the Commodores. Dap me up, Tate. Defense is doing their job as well. I think we're going to walk out with a W today. 1v2, but it's Tate Richardson. Oof. Oh, he fumbled it. Ooh, the tight end picked it up and got a couple extra yards. Even when we do something wrong, we do something right. Go, go, go. To the tight end. How in the heck did we complete that pass? That is amazing. I'm in love with our team this year. It is so much fun to play on this offense. Good stuff. Like last year, I felt a little helpless against everybody. But this year, boy, we are good. Get there. 
absolute bullet, but then he fumbles it. Bruh. He's like, you, you are responsible for this. Defense still dominating. We still got that two touchdown lead. Not sweating whatsoever. I'm gonna start to run the clock though, in case I start to blow it. I don't remember him getting a single 100 yard rushing game last year. That's mainly because I barely gave him the ball. Give me that, all day. Feed that running back. I want all the glory, so I'm gonna take this run away from him this time. Here we go, here we go, this is me. Touchdown! Celebrate me with the mascot, where are you? Where are you, pal? I'm coming for you. There he is, look at him waving his hands. <laughs> I love it, it's so goofy and ridiculous, and he's so hideous. Oh, what a lightning dart! That's one of my best throws I've probably ever had. Ah, uh, running it in. How many rushing touchdowns is that this game? I am going off. They took me out. We win this ball game, 35 to 14. This offense is so much fun. We're gonna fly through games this year if we are that consistent. 294 rushing yards, one passing touchdown, almost 100 rushing yards, and three touchdowns on the ground. Completely opposite of last year. I am exploding this season. And my running back is averaging 3.5 yards a carry this year. He got a touchdown for himself. Chris Hill's got 103 receiving yards. Where's Richardson? Only 45 receiving yards in a touchdown this game. But still, the catches he makes are incredible. Early eye popping every time he gets the football. There is still a long way to go in the college football season, but our student athlete is off to a good start after a fine performance this week. The player of the game for the second time this season, he's celebrating another great showing on the field. Now we bring in our own Kirk Herbstreet to break down the game film. Thank you, EA. For Vanderbilt, the game plan was executed to perfection as they obliterated their opponent. The team added another tally to the win column, but not without the help of our Road to Glory athlete. Aaron, just before I called you, I received word that he's been honored as the Conference Player of the Week for his performance. He had no trouble finding a receiver downfield. And his ground game wasn't bad either. In team sports, when your star players have great games, you typically have an outstanding chance to win the game. With this week, that's exactly what we saw from our man. He had an outstanding week where everything seemed to come together, and that's exactly what was able to lead this team to a victory. We're just getting started. I'm very excited to see what else this kid has to offer. Back to you, Aaron. Great analysis, Kirk. Thank you very much. The season is still young, so we're expecting much more to come as we follow this remarkable player down his road to glory. For EA Sports, I'm Aaron Andrews. In the same episode, we get a National Player of the Week and a Conference Player of the Week. We are lighting up the scoreboard this year. We have a QB rating of 177.6, 564 passing yards, four touchdowns to only one interception. And on the ground, we're even more impressive. Six rushing touchdowns, which is already four more than all of last year. We're averaging almost 70 yards a game. Boy, we are coming for that Heisman, I'm telling you. Oh, so we were a freshman All-American. Cool. Just now realize that. Well, I think that's a good place to end this video. Next episode, we'll play Arkansas, FCS, and Old Miss. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters Logan Pogue, Adrian Felix, Cameron Tipton, Dean Young, Matthew Paul, Niall Patterson, Christian Herzner, and Josh Castor. 